another day, another place. I think we're going to go to Three Pagodas Pass. Mm, yeah, the weather's not great, so we'll see. We might not be able to get out and explore. Depends on the weather. I'll just show you what it looks like through the windscreen. It's not raining heavily. It's basically the clouds coming down. And so it's really fine. It's that really fine rain that gets you wet. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, wonderful weather for ducks. So this is the roundabout where you go up to the Three Pagoda Pass if you're coming from Sankaburi. Is that how you say it? Sanka. Sanka. Buri. Sankaburi. Sankaburi. Thought there was an L in there somewhere. How far is it from here? 18. About, oh, there we go, 18. 18. 18 kilometers from the roundabout. See if you can see that on the old, uh, no, because it's just gone out of focus. <laughs> if you're running out of petrol because you've just come over the pass, past the lake, there is a petrol station just after the roundabout where you can also get KFC, there's a 7-Eleven, and an Amazon coffee for your convenience. Yeah, we're still behind a truck, so this might be a long, long trip. Yes, well, it's very rainy outside, as you can see. It is rainy season, after all. One of the things about this road is the border of Myanmar, or Burma, comes right close to the side of the road so there are places where you can walk and you could probably just walk out a few meters and you will be in Burma little roads like that that we just went past as I was saying, yeah, so behind those buildings there, that's probably uh, the Burmese border. But I think we're just coming up to the Three Pagoda Pass now. From what I remember, we could come down a little bit of a hill, which is what we're doing. And there's a car park on the left, which we may go in. <laughs> it's absolutely chucking it down. Here they are through the window screen wipers as we go in. One of them is partially obscured. Well, there's the Bormi... Bormis? <laughs> well, there's the Burmese border, Burmese flag. Then over there. Here's the three pagodas. They're actually pagodas, are they? They're um, stupas or jetty. Let's get it over there. Oh, there's a gap in the traffic. Oh, it's absolutely chucking it down. Like a wet weekend in Morecambe. What's that? Sky bar? Sky bar and something. <laughs> anyway, there you go. This Jetty one. Or Pagoda one. There's the other two. And round the edge is like a market. It's like a circle basically. You go around like that. See all the buildings. Broly in shot there. There's the Thai flag. And then it comes round to the border, which is there where those white cars are. I'm not going to walk over there, it's absolutely chucking it down. Well, 
let's uh, go and see what the master's up to. The Three Pagoda Pass. So this is a mountain pass and it's on the border of Thailand and Burma, or Myanmar as it's now called, in the Tenanasarim Hills. It's 282 metres above sea level. They don't actually look like pagodas, as I probably mentioned in the video. Uh, they are stupas or chedi. And they were probably built at the end of the Ayutthaya period as a symbol of peace. The pass has been used since ancient times and it's believed it's the point where Buddhism and Buddhist teachings came into Thailand in the 3rd century. The pass was the main invasion route into Thailand during the Ayutthaya period in Thai history. That's the 14th to the 18th century. And the first in invasion through the pass was in 1548 during the burmese siamese war and that lasted from 1547 to 1549 during world war ii japan built the infamous death railway taimen rentsu tetsuda i think that's how you pronounce it that's the name of the railway that they built through the pass and there is a memorial to commemorate the thousands of British, Australian, Dutch, American prisoners of war. And Asians as well, people forget that. The Asians that were forced labourers who died during the construction of the railway. Which is one of the reasons why it is called the Death Railway. So, you can get a one day pass, or visa I guess to cross over into Burma and you can only visit Paya Tonsu, Paya Tonsu, which is a village on the other side of the border. Oh, that'd be all right. How much are they? Yeah, well, one of each. No entry, do not enter. Temporary suspended of entry and exit due to security reasons, violations and offence against immigration law. So the border looks like it's closed, doesn't it? Go three pagoda pass. Done. Check it off the list again. Three times now. Just going to whiz round so you can see the clouds on the mountain behind me. I'll just get out of the road. I'm in the road at the moment. Don't want to die. Isn't that pretty? Do you know what that is? That is genuine Burmese candy on the border of Thailand and Burma.
peanut crisp candy and I think we've got another version of it here that's peanut crisp candy as well Ooh, little character there feel so we've got feel red and feel green see dang and see cow Onwards and upwards, the adventure continues in the pouring rain. Drive-by shot there. Bye-bye border. So one of the things that you get when you come up to the border are these army border points where they check to make sure there's no illegal immigrants coming into Thailand in your car. Because as I said before, anybody could just walk out of the bushes <laughs> and flag somebody down. Anyway. So we managed to get past the border. Um, they didn't find the uh, people we've got in the boot. <laughs> nah, it's nearly been done for smuggling, people smuggling. True story, yeah. Babies, she's imported babies from other countries into Thailand. Jelly babies, that is. <laughs> she does like jelly babies, actually. And so do I. truck and it is a very steep hill you can't probably tell from the camera angle that we've got but believe me it is steep come on supercar you can do it <laughs> that was now swearing I'll have to edit that out for the kids version Just having a little diversion, we're going to have a look at a waterfall, which is called down there. One advantage of coming in the rainy season is the waterfalls are pretty spectacular. Just heading off over this rickety bridge that goes over the waterfall. Oh, it's a bit way from Stanmore. It's 
slippery roots. It's actually only a few metres from the road. I'll show you the bridge in a second, but when I get over here to give you this shot, because it's pretty spectacular. They're not high waterfalls, but they are beautiful. As you can see. What was good as well, it should have been 200 baht to get in here, and I got in for the Thai price, which was 40 baht. So 80 baht for two of us to get in. Not bad. Really is very slippery. I have to walk really, really watch me step. Slippery roots. All the jungle there, all the trees. Mm. Nice little bridge here. Just going to go and have a look at the shot that most people were taking a moment ago. Very crowded. Giant frog here as well. Gotta look at that. I think this is some kind of rare frog. Yeah. A rare frog that they have in the area. got this huge frog. What I like about this is the babies down here. You see them? 